Hi, in today's video, we're going to go over some information that you'll need to know if you're buying a home or if you're relocating to the Omaha area, and we're going to get after it right now. One of the requirements when you're purchasing a home, if you're financing the property, one of the things that the lender is going to require is they're going to require homeowner's insurance. Okay, now there's two types of homeowner's insurance, and this is where you want to sit down with a qualified uh, insurance provider and ask some questions. Okay, now there's two types of policies. There's ACV, which stands for actual cash value, and then their other policy is replacement cost. Okay, now here's the difference. Now in Nebraska, one of the reasons why our homeowner's insurance tends to run a little high is because of thunderstorm activity. So we'll get a thunderstorm that blows through Omaha and what you'll find is you'll have hail damage, okay, on the roof. And ACV coverage means that, let's say there's a $10,000 repair. Well, with ACV coverage, what the insurance company will look at and say, you know, uh, the roof was 10 years old so we're going to cover give you a check for 2500 bucks okay so let's say your deductible is 2500 bucks so that means you filed a complaint a, filed a, a claim and you received no payment and you're out of pocket for that ten thousand dollar repair now if you have replacement coverage now replacement coverage is gonna run higher but what replacement coverage will say, you know what, there was a $10,000 repair, we're going to pay the $10,000 minus your deductible. Okay, so that's going to be the difference between ACV and uh, replacement coverage. So you want to make sure that you sit down with your uh, insurance provider to see exactly what type of coverage you have. Okay. Now here's the other thing too, because most buyers, what they do is they're just like, oh, I need insurance. I just run out there and, and go with the cheapest one. So there's a big difference on what type of coverage you have. So you want to make sure you have that discuss discussion. Now, the other thing insurance companies will do is they'll get kind of slick. They will say, you know what? The house will have replacement coverage, but the roof is going to be ACV coverage. So again, the devil is in the details in terms of your coverage. So you want to make sure that you have that discussion with your trusted insurance provider. Now, what's some of the factors that affect the cost of your insurance policy? Okay. One of the factors is your credit score. The higher your credit, then the lowest, the lower your, your, the cost of your policy will be. Another factor that plays a part is the age of the home and the condition of the home and the condition of the roof and the age of the roof. All of those will play a factor in your homeowner's insurance policy. Now, recently I sat down with uh, Sean Shea with NR Insurance and I asked him a question. I said, hey, Sean, what's the best upgrade or what's the best thing a, a homeowner can do to lower their cost of their insurance and Sean what he had to say was the one of the the best ways to doing that is to have impact resistant shingles so if you're looking to uh, uh, you know upgrade your roof or something to that you want to make sure you you factor that into the equation and the other thing I asked Sean I said hey Sean what's the best rider that someone can attach to their homeowner's insurance policy. Okay, what do you think was the best rider? And what Sean had to say was, there's a coverage for sewage backup. Okay, and, and I've done a video on that in the past. I'll include a link to that uh, video above. But what that coverage is, let's say you move into a home and then uh, you move in and then all of a sudden the sewer backs up. So you have raw sewage coming through the floor drain into your basement. Okay, so that's not a lot of fun. That is not covered by insurance. Okay, sometimes what that means is there's a uh, tree roots in the main line. 
So if by attaching that writer, and that can be anywhere but for about a hundred bucks or so or, or less to cover the contents or the damage done inside the home. Now it does not cover, you know, having a company come out and dig up that main line and replacing that main line. That's not covered, but what is covered is the contents inside the home. So if you're looking to add a writer to your policy, you may want to consider that, okay? Especially if you live in an older home, if there's big trees in the front yard, or, um, you know, there's a lot of mature trees in the neighborhood because that will happen eventually. So keep that in mind. I'll include a link to Sean's contact information in the comments section below. Hey, if you don't mind, if you could please subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. And hey, you make it a great day.